Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanisha, AKA Sparkly Natural. And today I come to you with this very bold green look using the Huda Beauty, if I can find it, <laughs> using the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions Palette. I just picked this up during the Sephora VIB sale and I love the color. It is beautiful. The colors on the inside are gorgeous. They are really, really nice. I feel like I had some work, more work than I expected, but I feel like overall I still was pleasantly surprised. I look forward to doing some more looks with this palette. I'll also walk you through my foundation and all of that. Last week I posted a video on brows, so if you have any questions about brows, then please look at that. I will link it below. Thank you so much again for joining my channel. Please leave a comment, share, subscribe. Um, I'm going to do a giveaway once I get to 100 subscribers on YouTube then once I get to a thousand I want to do a bigger giveaway so definitely stay tuned for that and please keep watching starting off with brows already basically done gonna go in and set the concealer on my eyelids so I'm just gonna use my setting powder and my real techniques setting brush And then my Sasha Buttercup. Just gonna take a little itty bitty bit of that. Today for eyes, I am gonna go into the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette. I'm super excited about this. I picked it up during the Sephora VIB sale. These are the colors. They are beautiful. Green is one of my favorite eyeshadow looks, so we're gonna dig into this today. So the first color I'm gonna start off with is this kind of mint green color here. Super, super pretty. And I'm gonna use that on a Morphe M433 brush. So once you get that built up the way you want it, I'm going to go in next with this color here. And I'm going to put that underneath where I put that first color. This color blends out so pretty, so pretty. So I lightly went up a little bit more and kind of blended that into that first color. So next I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques Detailer Brush and I'm going to use this color here and I'm going to basically make a cut crease without concealer and all of that. So it doesn't look like it's doing very much. I think I'm gonna have to go in with my hand, well, my finger. So 
So that's not standing out enough for me. So I'm gonna go in with this color here in the front and then I'm gonna go in with that middle color at the end. So now I'm just going to take another one of those Morphe brushes and I'm just going to kind of buff out the edges up here. Then I'm going to go in with the eyeliner. I'm going to use the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner which is my favorite. This is what it looks like. Then I'm gonna go in with my current favorite eyelashes. These are the Iconic, they're I Envy Iconic Collection number 13s. And I'm just gonna use my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive in Dark. So once I have my lashes on, I'm gonna go in with this Elf Cosmetics Keep Your Lash Mascara. This is what it looks like. Just gonna use that to blend in my real lashes with the falsies. Also, I'm gonna go in and do my bottom lashes. To line my waterline, I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Glide On Gel Liner. So now for the face, I'm going to go in with the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Primer, this mattifying primer. It's been my go-to lately. Just put that on my areas where I get oily. Then I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Blurring Primer. Looks like this. My hands. And then just smooth it over my areas with my large pores. For foundation today, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I used two colors, cocoa and mocha. 
And I feel like lately, those have just been doing it for me. I'm a little bit of a foundation junkie. I want to find something that really works. And these two lately, I have fallen back in love with. So I'm just going to mix the two of those on the back of my hand. I use about two dips of the cocoa, the lighter shade. And then I put in about half of the mocha shade. So to blend that in, I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. foundation blurring brush. I used it on my cousin and I really like the way it looks, so trying it out on myself today and we'll see how that goes. It's really soft. I really like it. I think it blends it out beautifully. For concealer, I'm going in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and this is in the color Medium Dark. To blend that out, I'm going to use my e.l.f. concealer brush. Looks like that. To set that concealer, I am going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with this BH Cosmetics Contour Palette and I'm going to use the color here. To blend out those lines, I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. buffing brush. For blush, I'm going to... For blush, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Primed Blush in Always Spicy. So for highlighter today, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Modern Metals Highlighting Blush Palette. And I am going to use this color here and I'm going to use this Morphe looks like a bronzing brush 